Hello everyone, I'm Svetlin Naku from the Software University, Softune, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. Today I will be discussing another very important and interesting topic in the programming world, the module view controller pattern, MVC. The module view controller consists of three main components, models which hold data, views which display data from the models, and controllers which handle the interaction with the user. I will explain why the MVC pattern is so popular at the backend and why so many web development frameworks like Spring MVC in Java, Django in Python, SPNet MVC in C Sharp and Laravel and PHP and many others use the MVC model to structure the web backend apps. To better illustrate the MVC model in action, I will show you a web demo, a simple web app written in JavaScript using Node.js, Express a framework and the Puck templating engine. It combines several paradigms that I already explained in my previous dev lessons. The MVC pattern, routing and routing libraries and templating engines and using templates to render uh, data in the UI. From this session, you may remember that MVC is an important paradigm for structuring server-side web applications and backend developers definitely need to learn it. Now it's time to go into more detail. Let's start. Another important concept from software development is the module view controller MVC pattern. MVC is an architectural pattern for structuring web backend apps by dividing their logic into three separate components, models, views, and controllers. The MVC pattern is illustrated on the diagram which shows the interactions between the MVC components. MVC is complex and some developers need time to understand it. We shall spend significant time, effort and practical work to learn it later at Softuni. MVC splits the app into controllers, views and models. Users interact with the controllers which modify the data in the model and visualize the data using views. For example, let's take a phone book app. Users see the phone book entries on the screen. They are rendered by a view component. The app model holds the phone book entries. This is the data model behind the views. Controllers are responsible for handling user actions such as view the phone book, search, and add new phone book entry. The controllers, modules, and views are strongly interconnected. But each of them has well-defined responsibility. The idea of MVC is to build a better app structure. which simplifies development and improves maintenance. The presentation logic, 
which displays elements on the screen is also located in the views. The logic for user interaction which handles the user input is also located in the controllers. The data models and data related logic are in the models. The MVC app structure is very popular, popular in web backend frameworks. Such as ASP.NET MVC, Django, and Spring MVC. Variants of MVC sometimes are used in some web uh, front end frameworks and mobile app frameworks. In the C MVC model, the controllers handle user actions. such as clicking a button or choosing an item from a list. Depending on the user actions, controller may update the app that data data the app data model. Uh, then controllers render a view the user interface which visualizes the data model. For example, in our phone book app, the phone book controller handles the, the actions click at the phone book entry. The action handler holds the data about the selected phone book entry into a data model object. And then it shows a view which displays this data object. Models hold the app data. Typically, the models are data classes which hold the data that should be displayed at the screen. For example, in our phone book app, the data module used to visualize a phone book entry is a data object holding the phone book entry details. Views display the UI for certain screen from the app based on the data from the model. For example, in our phone book app, the view which displays the phone book entries takes as an input data model holding a list of phone book entries. The view iterates over uh, the entries one by one and displays them in a table or list. MVC is an important paradigm for structuring web apps and backend developers should learn it. At SoftUni, we teach MVC as part of the server-side web development courses and modules. Web MVC frameworks are software development frameworks which implement the module view controller MVC pattern as foundation to build web apps. Web MVC frameworks such as Spring MVC, Chang and ASP.NET are used to build server-side web applications. Under the MVC framework, web apps defined controllers holding actions, views and model components. Actions in the controllers handle the HTTP GET and POSTS request from the client web browser. They perform the requested operations such as retrieving data or adding new data and render a view. To display the result in the client web browser. Controllers implement the operations used to interact with the users. These operations are invoked as HTTP requests 
by the web browser. For example, clicking a button or submitting a web form executes an HTTP request which is handled by a controller action at the backend. Views render data as HTML plus CSS. Uh, for displaying in the quant web browsers. Views are called by the controller actions to render the UI. They take as input a data model. and visualize the data from the model as HTML. The rendered HTML is returned as HTTP response to the web browser. For example, a uh, view can render a list of items as HTML. Models hold the app data. Which is prepared by controllers to be rendered in the views. In most cases, models are simple data objects or collections of objects. When a controller wants to return data for displaying in the client web browser, it was the data from the database, put it in a data model object and send it to the view which renders it as HTML. Examples of popular backend web MVC frameworks are the following ASP.NET MVC for C Sharp developers, Spring MVC for Java developers, Express.js for server side JavaScript developers, Django for Python web developers, Laravel for PHP web developers, Ruby on Rails for Ruby developers, Revel for Go developers, and many others. Almost all server-side web, web development is driven by MVC frameworks. So you need to learn at least one of them if you want to be a back-end developer. We shall learn MVC frameworks at SoftUni at the end of our end-to-end -end training program for software engineers. To illustrate how MVC frameworks work in action, I have prepared a live code example project. This is a simple Web MVC web app which holds a registry of students. The app is written in JavaScript using Node.js. It uses Express as a server side MVC framework and Puck as templating engine to implement views. The app is structured as classical MVC application consisting of controllers, views, and models. 
Let's foresee it in action. We open the link to repo it and wait for code to load. We run the app and we see the home page. We open the app in the new browser window and this is because we want to see the URLs of the pages better. The app has three tabs, home, view students and add student. At the home page we see the number of students. The URL of the home page is the URL of the app. At the view students uh, page, we see a list of registered users. The URL of this page is slash students. At the Add Students page, we see a web form for registering a new student. The URL of this page is slash add student. Let's add a student, for example, Peter with Peter at with email peter at gmail.com. After clicking the Add button, the new student is added to the registry and the browser is redirected to view students page. This is all the functionality we have at this app in this app. Now let's look at the code. Uh, it is complex, don't try to understand it, just get an idea of controllers, models and views. We open the controllers folder and the students-controller.js. This controller defines four actions. bound to the following HTTP endpoints. Get slash. This action retrieves the home page. It creates a data model, simple JavaScript objects, and puts some data in it for visualization. Then it renders the view with the name home, which should visualize the data from the model. Get slash students. This action was the student data and renders it through the view students. Get slash add student. renders the add student HTML form. And post slash add dash student adds the received from the HTTP request new student to the student's collections and redirects to the student's page. Let's see how models look like. The student model is loaded from a JSON file. Uh, the JSON file holds 
three students with their names and emails. Let's look at the views. Home.puck is very simple. It just prints the registered users. Their account. Header.puck it holds the top navigation. It is included at the start of all other views. Students.puck It holds the top navigation. Uh, it, it iterates over the students and prints their names and email in a list. Add student dot puck. It displays a form to enter the student's name and email with a submit button. Don't try to understand the code with all its technical details. Try to understand the MVC pattern the concept of structuring web apps as controllers, views, and models. MVC is an important development concept and web developers should understand it. We shall learn MVC with a lot of practical examples and projects in the web development module software did you like this lesson do you want more join the learners community at softunit.org subscribe to my youtube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding dev concepts and software development get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers get free help from mentors and meet other learners and it's all free so join now softunit.org